Hi, this is Mark with GoldenTicker.com on Thursday, February the 28th, 2013, with a look at the markets here. This is the uh, NASDAQ composite. It's up about a half a percent today. Now, we had broken out of this nice uptrend that we've been get going through all year here and uh, had some pretty sloppy trading here the last several sessions. We're back up at the top of this little range here and at the bottom of this trading range here. So still a lot of damage done here in the short term. Um, if we can certainly clear this peak here, uh, we'll be looking uh, at a more positive uptrend. But for now, um, I'm looking at just volatility here, back and forth action, getting support though at this blue line, the 50-day moving average. So kind of a neutral position on uh, the NASDAQ right now. A little bit of a positive sign here. The uh, stochastics has gotten down to 20 and bounced strongly up off of that and still not uh, anywhere near an oversold uh, 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 range here, which would be uh, 80 and above. So uh, maybe some uh, more upside action here, uh, possibly setting us up for a near-term uptrend. Moving on now to the uh, mega cap Dow uh, industrials. Uh, that's about half a percent too, but a much better chart here. You can see that we went into new highs this morning here and um, got back into this uh, uh, trading range here and actually got above it here. So uh, maybe setting up a new, more powerful uh, range as we move higher. So more money, more interest coming into the uh, uh, mega global companies here. And, the, on the and looking at the S&P 500, another large cap uh, index here, uh, up a half a percent as well. Uh, and uh, getting close to uh, possibly uh, taking out this previous uh, break high here and putting us into a short-term uptrend here. So a nice strong bounce, third day following through on a bounce uh, down near the 50-day moving average here. So uh, larger caps looking good. Uh, stocks uh, um, trying to set up for a new rally attempt in my opinion. Moving on now to the gold, this is the GLD, the uh, exchange traded fund for gold, which mirrors the price of gold, uh, down about one and a quarter percent. We had had four um, uh, straight up days here, nice rally attempt, got above this gray line, the 10 day moving average, didn't quite get to this red line, the 21 day, certainly below the 50 day moving average, certainly in a massive downtrend here, and broke uh, down yesterday and followed through more today. It looks like it's going to be increasing volume today, distribution coming in. Coming back down here to the 150.84 level to challenge that, it looks like to me. So not looking good here on the gold. When we look at a weekly chart of the GLD, uh, we're only down about uh, two-tenths of a percent here. But you can see this uh, challenge here of this red line, the four-week moving average, and getting slammed back down. Um, so uh, you can see the downtrend in place. Um, you can see this falling 10-week moving average line, this blue line here, that has crossed under all the others, the 100, uh, I'm sorry, the 20-week uh, and the 40-week moving averages. So uh, uh, the momentum certainly moving down in the gold. Uh, getting a break above this uh, blue line here, the 10-week, would certainly be positive for gold, but right now mirrored in a downtrend. Moving on now to a monthly chart of gold. This is the spot gold price. Uh, you can see uh, that uh, we have been in a downtrend here for the last five months, uh, coming down to the lower end of that range, possibly coming back down here to challenge this uh, 15, 26, 70 mark. Uh, that was our previous low here made last year, about the same time last year. Uh, so uh, certainly this is going to be an interesting uh, challenge here uh, if it does get down to there. We do have support here. Uh, at this black dotted line, the 40-month moving average, sitting just below 1,500 here. So um, gold uh, putting in a, a solid leg to the downside and still moving to the downside on a monthly chart, uh, down about 4.1% on the month. And here's a look at uh, the SLV, the silver ETF, down about 1.8% here. Same story, um, four up days in a row. Um, coming up to the 10-day moving average, this gray line, which is really falling rapidly and not being able to muster any kind of a rally above that. Getting turned back, slammed back, and now coming back down to challenge possibly the 27.35 level. Have, having broken down to these previous lows here, got, it got down to a low of 27.46, so just about 11 cents off of that low here and moving lower. Um, uh, the silver uh, uh, on the stochastics had broken above the 20 mark. Now we're pulling back a little bit. Uh, we certainly had a low in the RSI index, which would indicate that we needed some kind of a rally up. Uh, so far, that rally is losing steam, uh, and we still have about another two hours of trading today. So let's see what happens down here uh, at these lows here, very critical point for silver. 
Looking at the weekly chart of silver down about 1.15% on the week. Um, you can see this downtrend line that we're in. We're at the lower end of that range here um, uh, with our previous low here at 2735. Coming back down, this line is falling. Um, possibly going to challenge that again, like it did a couple uh, weeks after hitting the low here, and certainly one week after hitting the low here. So not a, not unusual to come and try and uh, bounce off this line again here, and possibly start to rally to the upside. When we go to a monthly chart of silver, we're down 7.6 percent uh, on the month. You can see us challenging down here this black dotted line, the 40-month moving average. Very critical point here for silver to hold. It did hold back here, uh, getting to a low of 26.10. Uh, back here uh, about uh, the same time last year. So very critical point for silver as well as the gold. Uh, gold top, I mean silver topped out about uh, two years ago at almost $50 and uh, has been in a corrective phase now uh, uh, for, for quite some time uh, having almost a 50% correction up off the top. So silver very volatile as usual um, putting in a kind of wedging flag formation here uh, could break either way to the upside or downside. We'll just have to wait and see. But so far, good support here at the 40-month moving average. So just to recap uh, with the stocks, um, trying to uh, uh, gather strength again. Um, certainly the Dow Industrials have broken to new highs, uh, have broken out of the trend range to the upside that it had uh, been in all year long. So, so the, uh, the, the massive uh, big cap mega companies doing the best, money flowing into those more than the NASDAQ and the S&P 500. But uh, mostly uh, those stocks are neutral. Uh, looking uh, to uh, uh, confirm into a short-term uh, uh, rally. Uh, gold and silver in a downtrend, uh, uh, breaking more to the downside as I speak. So there you go. Thanks for listening.